In Western Europe, the Roman Empire had collapsed, but the collapse of the empire did not bring the end. Because there was still an Eastern Roman Empire in the East. In the city of Constantinople, emperors who considered themselves Romans a thousand years after the fall of Rome, they still ruled. Byzantium was a place where emperors and their subjects spoke Greek. But it was a place where they saw themselves as Romans. After the fall of Western Rome Europe suffers from poverty, ignorance, superstition and endless wars, while Constantinople attracted luxury imperial palaces, libraries and baths. Scholars of Greek and Roman antiquity, 300 churches, and the magnificent Hagia Sophia with its cathedral. Although Europe began to recover and revitalize in the 12th century the populations of London, Paris and Rome were still smaller in Constantinople. Constantinople attracted the elites of Muslim countries such as Baghdad, Cairo, and Cordoba. Was mesmerizing. Byzantine civilization was based in every field on the advances already known in the 5th century BC of the ancient Roman Empire, and the Greeks. Century BC. Some advances in technology lived. There were developments in the production and use of glass. In writing materials, especially as papermaking was learnt from China. The Byzantines used paper for cranes, weight lifters and parts of catapults. Some simple machines such as lever, gear wheel, wedge, inclined levels, screws they knew. For the ruling class, however, these developments were not as important as luxury production and military purposes. Was used in two limited areas. Even in the military sphere, Byzantium had been little progress had been made beyond what was known in Alexandria. The astronomy of Greek Alexandria in the past and the discoveries in mathematics few manuscripts. Only a minority of scholars took them seriously. Mainstream thinkers have relied on interpretations of the biblical book of Genesis in their perception of the physical world. And accepted the shape of the earth as flat. In Byzantium, the masses were interested in the land and were engaged in cultivation. However, no progress was made in agricultural equipment. Plowing the land was like plowing, the fields were not systematically fertilized, and it was not until the 12th century that the harnesses used to harness the animals were slaughtered. It was a custom that prevailed in most of the rest of Byzantine society. This simple fact lies at the root of stagnation. Byzantium, the old Roman it was facing the crisis that destroyed its empire. No new means of production had been invented and no new class had emerged to create new means. Byzantium was therefore unable to avoid major crises. The reason for the empire's survival in the east was mainly the agricultural abundance of this region. In 330, after Constantinople became the imperial capital, control was established over the Nile Valley, a major producer of grain that supplied Constantinople. The economy of the provinces of the empire was in the hands of large local landowners who ruled completely self-sufficient estates, and in Egypt had police, courts, private armies, and sophisticated postal and transport systems. However, the imperial army was sufficiently strong and could provide the empire with the resources it needed to ensure that the Roman Empire was well organized. This tight organization was responsible for Justinian's last attempt to conquer the West, and for the after the completion of the construction of Sophia in the 6th century, it almost collapsed. Armies, the extravagance of building state buildings and the luxury of palace and church, the empire's all its wealth was consumed at the top. The peasantry's continuing poverty and discontent among the less affluent residents of the provincial cities barbaric clashes, between rival factions in all cities of the empire. That led to this. The empire and the church oppressed large numbers of people in their attempts to ensure religious obedience and the bishops, backed by the persecution of the monks. The bishops, backed by the persecution of the monks, attacked the temples, they were ensuring the brutal extermination of paganism. The successive campaigns against the Jews' attacks and bloody persecutions against the Monophysite, Arian and Nestorian interpretation of Christianity was practiced. In the 7th century, the Byzantine, 
Persian and Arab Islamic armies in Syria and Egypt and little support for the empire when it was attacked in the Balkans by Slavic peoples, was coming. The empire consisted of Constantinople and part of Asia Minor. With a few towns and the much reduced population of its capital city, the decline in literacy and a fossilized fossil by general decay. The empire rested on an inherent contradiction. Objective, to create an independent peasantry that could be taxed. But taxation was constantly it forced the peasants to cede their land to the more powerful and richer. Smallholder peasants faced annual invasions by cruel and greedy tax collectors and their accompanying detachments of soldiers. Peasants unable to pay their taxes were imprisoned and tortured. The peasants therefore had to welcome subordination to powerful landowners as a form of protection. The imperial bureaucracy prevented the urban masses from organizing themselves independently. In preventing the labor market, merchants and craftsmen were able to reduce their profits organized in state-controlled guilds, which limited the number of guilds. This created a strong retarding the development of the domestic bourgeoisie, and when new opportunities in trade arise these are being taken over by foreign traders, and their activities was increasing the weakness of the empire. The harsh realities of military defeat, closed markets and dwindling wealth were realized in the 12th century. When slavery was eradicated, slavery began to die and free labor began to gain economic power. In the 12th century, when the business of providing cheap grain broke down, the class interests of the city dwellers reflecting the riots began to appear. Interestingly, at that time, various guilds and associations of artisans and craftsmen began to play a role. The priests were at least semi-literate and the messages they conveyed were simplified saints. Stories, miracle stories, and their belief in the magic of relics was based on where paganism offered people local gods, now Christianity offering them local patron saints. Cult of the Mother Goddess, Cult of the Virgin Mary in the form of fertility ceremonies, carnivals on the eve of Lent and Easter ceremonies. At the beginning of the 13th century, when Constantinople fell into the hands of a group of bandits and adventurers from Europe, the fundamental weakness of Byzantine civilization became apparent. The participants in the Fourth Crusade saw the city as a better prize than the city of Jerusalem, which had been their original intention. They looted it and then ruled it as a feudal kingdom. In 1261 they were expelled, but the renewed Byzantine state was a pale reflection of its former self and was finally captured by the Ottomans in 1453. Byzantine civilization had survived for a thousand years after the fall of Western Rome. However, the ruling classes of this civilization had their only contact with the working masses through tax collectors on the one hand, and rural priests who could barely read and write on the other. No class emerged in Greco-Roman society capable of revolutionizing and enabling the development of the forces of production. Byzantium had thus become nothing more than a living dead.